Well, I'm pleased to be joined here on Halton News by the candidate representing the provincial NDP in Milton for the May 2nd by-election, Edie Strahan. Thank you for doing this. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I want to take this opportunity to let our viewers, which, you know, are Milton voters, a lot of them, to get to know you a little bit. So who is Edie Strahan? Oh, so I'm a longtime public servant and activist. I've spent more than 30 years sorry, 30 years in regulatory enforcement. And I've lived in Milton for over 20 years. And I've been very active in uh, workers' rights and uh, labor rights. So you've been very much on that side as an activist. So why do you think, you know, that background qualifies you to be the MP for Milton? Well, I also do a lot of work with employers. So in my regular day job, I'm an officer with the Ontario Ministry of Labor. I'm an employment standards officer. And I'm often helping employers understand and navigate the legislation so that they can become compliant. And when you get involved in that kind of technical jargon and you're helping people out, you get used to navigating legislation, regulations, policies, procedures, and practices really well. All right. So you definitely know the background, which is great. You have the background. Now you want to put it in action in a different way. So let's just say you are successful. You are elected on May the 2nd. What is your mm -hmm. first order of business? Oh, my first order of business is to get into the legislature and start representing the voices of Miltonians. There are so many issues when we go door knocking. I think some of the primary concerns that I've been hearing about, and by no means is this all that's on the list, but it really started with the quarry and the Ford government's promise to, you know, not move forward with that. We have the sound clips like four years ago. We said, if they don't want it, it won't happen. And nothing, nothing. So, you know, um, as a principled person, um, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. And I think that really resonates with Miltonians. Now, two of the other names on the ballot on May 2nd will be Zishan Hamid of the Conservatives and Galen A. Duharis mm -hmm. of the Liberal Party. What is your strategy to pull voters away from these two individuals that are both very well known in the Milton community? Yeah, they are very well known. But I, when I'm going door knocking door to door, I find that my message really does resonate with uh, local Miltonians. They want somebody who is going to you know, speak truth, be transparent, and is going to do the things they say they're going to do. And I have a 30 year track record of doing just that. And although I've often represented labor, I'm at Queens Park very frequently, you know, looking to tweak legislation, making suggestions, speaking to standing committees. This is not new to me. All right. So, and finally, you know, to end all of these interviews that I'm doing with the candidates, I like to give the candidate the floor. Why should Milton residents vote for you and the NDP on May 2nd? You know, this is a provincial election, but really what resonates with Miltonians are their local issues. And I'm prepared to bring that to Queen's Park. One of the most common ones is housing. Like we, the NDP are in the business to make housing affordable for Ontarians and Miltonians in particular. Okay, well, there you go. Housing seems to be the priority right there. That is what you are pushing for. And on May the 2nd, if that's the priority of the voters, then boom, to the polls they go to make their decision. Edie, thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your time.